Now, last week, Coldplay achieved what I assume was their lifelong dream of being upstaged by Beyonce at the Super Bowl <laughs> halftime show. But not everyone was happy with Beyonce's performance for her new single, Formation. Protesters will hold an anti-Beyonce rally outside of the NFL headquarters in New York City. She and her dancers were seen wearing leather and black berets that looked similar to the Black Panthers uniform. Okay, ladies, now let's get in formation. Several people are offended because they say Beyonce's performance was hate speech, racist, and a, quote, slap in the face to police officers. I think it was outrageous. Um, the halftime show, I thought it was ridiculous anyway. I don't know what the heck it was. A bunch of people, like, bouncing around and well, doing strange things. <laughs> I guess some people still aren't ready for that jelly. <laughs> so was Beyonce's performance racist? For more, we turn to our racism expert and human barometer, Kitty Flanagan. Kitty Flanagan, human barometer. Welcome, Kitty. Welcome. Thank you. I'm a little afraid to ask, but was Beyonce racist? Oh, short answer, no. Uh, Andrew Bolt said something ridiculous about her not having any white dancers on stage. Uh, what do you call Chris Martin? Chris Martin, <laughs> who gave it everything, <laughs> including making a fantastic argument in dance for why Beyonce went with all black dancers. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, so you don't think Beyonce was, was racist? Here's what I think. I think I am not the right person to be discussing racism. I am white. <laughs> so I have never experienced racism. Well, well, this is your chance. Because some people are saying that Beyonce is being racist against white people like you, Kitty. You, just like President Obama, Jada Pickett-Smith, Al Sharpton and so many others, just can't let America heal keep ripping off the historical band-aid. Why be a cultural leader when you can play the victim, right? Guess what, Beyonce? White people like your music too. White people buy your songs on iTunes, memorize your lyrics, and admire your talent and beauty. Little white girls want to be like you just as little black girls do. But instead of recognizing that, you would rather perpetuate the great battle of the races. <laughs> is, is this an example of reverse racism? Uh, no. Firstly, it's not racist to be proud of being black. Secondly, reverse racism is not a thing. If you say reverse racism, you're implying that you're doing racism the wrong way, like there's a right way to do racism. <laughs> you know, you're going, oh, hey, you're getting racism all wrong. It's supposed to be against minorities, not against white people. Come on. <laughs> so if you say reverse racism, you're being racist by suggesting that there's only one way to do racism, that's the right way, the original way, invented by the whitey. <laughs> all right, so if... It's not the race issue. Why did you want to talk about Beyonce? I want to talk about Beyonce from the perspective of a performer. I've watched it over and over and I cannot see what people were so angry about. To me, it looked like Beyonce had two objectives when she went out at the Super Bowl. She had to sing the shit out of it, dance the bejesus out of it. <laughs> so tick and tick, Beyonce. Now, the fact that she did that <laughs> in heels, on grass, and still managed to get the world talking about the Black Lives Matter movement, well, thumbs up, Queen Bee, because I'm telling you, it is really hard to convey a message through dance. <laughs> yeah. yeah, OK. Yeah, okay. My dancing so, people agree with me. So you can't, you can't comment on race because you're white, but you're commenting on dance. Yes, because I'm a dancer, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'm a tiny dancer, but no, I'm, <laughs> I did six years of liturgical dance and I know all the moves. Uh, I've got rainbow arms right, mm. rainbow arms left, <laughs> double rainbow. Oh, Lord, don't smite me. Uh, <laughs> release the dove. Now, even with all that in my arsenal, I still find it hard to get the message across. In fact, really? I would challenge you now to try and pick which biblical passage I am dancing. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. I'm going to begin now. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it's hard. <laughs> like, it's harder than it looks. It's, um... Come on. Thessalonians 5.18. Oh, Charlie, come on, I gave you the easiest one. That was Exodus 3.2. Did you not get Burning Bush? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I'm going to give it to you on a plate. Ladies and gentlemen, performing at Super Bowl 2017, Kitty Flanagan.